Oh, we're going. Okay. Uh, well, hey, we're at the Mohican 100. What's the date today? I don't even know. But it's the season opener for the NUE 100-mile uh, series. It's a uh, loosely put together 100-mile uh, race series, and uh, I've been doing it for 10 years. It's a great day, beautiful sun. Ready to get some. First 100-miler, though. First 100-mile race for me, so we'll see. It's supposed to be, it's to be a hot day. What happens out there? Uh, big start. Line. Uh, yeah, it's so a little so bit of single track, there, then we're going to get into uh, some roots and so some rocks and wilderness. Haven, so looking looking forward to shredding that, it's gonna look the same. getting over the big boulders, uh, the getting it done. Is not and um, God, 500 racers here. First race since COVID, uh, basically in a year and a half. I'm, I'm stoked, I'm pumped, and everyone is really happy here. So the, this is the best event ever. Uh, Brian O'Dell, the series organizer, it's pretty amazing. So rock on, guys. Well, uh, so this is a 20th year of the Mohican 100 and um, working alongside two Ohio champions and the single speed champion, Josh Coots, um, we decided to make some changes to the course. Um, we found 18 miles of single track that I've been looking for for 20 years on a private property. And uh, so we decided to include that this year. And we built some more single track uh, about halfway through the race at Camp Mohaven. And then with all the gain in that single track, we chopped the roads. Uh, we thought it was gonna only maybe add a half hour to the race. It was a thousand feet less elevation, so it's only 10,000 feet of elevation, but it turned out that it made the race almost two hours longer for the pros. So you know what that did to everyone else. It smoked everybody. Everybody was really smoked. And, uh, but the feedback was really good. Even though it was hard, the very next comment I heard is don't change that, don't take that out, leave the course the way it is. Annihilating every time you know, oh my God. Almost there though, right? Like how, how are the changes? Uh, uh, you know, I guess they this is probably the hardest Mohican 100 course I've ever done. I mean, what made it so much harder? The new single track, all the new sections. I mean, because you're used to just getting that road and you can kind of get breaks, you know, on the downhills. And that stuff was brutal. Especially, was, it good, was it a good thing or was it? I think it was good. I mean, because more single track's always good. It's miserable out there. It's just downright miserable. If this is 30, if this is really 35, I'm screwed. So I feel like we, we accomplished our goal. It wasn't to make the course harder, it was to try to make it fun. So we reversed some things, like took climbs out, turned them into downhills. And uh, everything was, the overview was that we want to make the course as fun as possible, not as hard as possible, so that people would enjoy it, at least, you know, until you died, but. <laughs> it's a good one. Trail's perfect.
It's good, man. Just trying to trying to pace myself and not blow up. Better have a lot in the tank. Ebenhams, oranges, bananas, watermelon, peanut butter and jelly, cheese, water. Oh my God, Jesus! I'm like way back. Um, look at that. I was loose. I don't even know how to fix them because they got this new like. Uh, but a 12 speed, I can't even put it on. So it's spinning, 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 jiggling, 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 spin, spin, jiggle, jiggle, spin, jiggle. I had to get off, put the chain back on, and it's working now. Easy day so far. Lots of heat. A couple, a couple loose rotors, loose cassettes. Easy. Back on the road. Back on the trail. best part um i'd have to say the rock garden because it was really fun Um, it was brutal. I've done it, I think, four times before, and this is definitely the hardest one with all the extra single track. Yeah, yeah. American track, why was this the hardest one? Just all the single track and the and the heat added to it as well. So yeah, that that extra single track that they added was was brutal. Real rocky and technical. So yeah. All right, what's the most fun part out there? Um, all all the descents, of course. <laughs> Anytime I got to go downhill, I was happy. <laughs> so. I said this is your fourth one. Yeah. Uh, why, why do you keep coming back? Fourth or fifth? Um, fourth or fifth? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> so that, it was just my goal to do this because I, I am actually signed up to do the run as well in two weeks. hot out. I'm I'm not used to heat. <sighs> but it's a good course. And uh, techie sections, there's the new trails out in Mohaven were really fun. There were some uh, rock rollers and fun technical stuff akin to New England riding. So it's kind of nice. Yeah. It's been good good day so far. It's the worst. Uh, you know, I'm just regrouping here. Getting into the second half of this and uh, plan is to finish as soon as I feel right again. It's just, it's, uh, it's like 5,000 feet of climbing in the first half, so it's pretty brutal. And uh, everything in my lower body is cramping. Yeah, what's happening out there? Nothing, it's just, it's just a tough race, you know, compared to like Colorado where you just go up, all up, 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 and then down. This is just, you know, like this kind of stuff, like you said, you know. Um, I think True Grit uh, seems a little easier than this, to tell you the truth.
coming, coming down the mountain when she come. So I had a loose cassette and too much tire pressure. I haven't done this in a year and a half. I've heard about this climb. So I could be a fun one. Alex. Oh, I'm hoping this is almost over. <laughs> but I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, it's hot. This is tough. First in my class, so I'm walking. No handouts at the top of Valley Stream? Nice, Josh. Nice. Good to see you, bro. All right, Josh. I pushed my bike half of the miles today. It was really hard. That was the, probably the hardest one I've ever done. Just the climbing was really intense. The heat was intense. It's early in the season. Definitely had the biggest bonk of my life. Laid down in the middle of the trail and was just like, someone's gonna come pick me up. And I was like, yeah, no, they're not. The aid stations here were awesome. I honestly wouldn't have finished without, without them. I didn't sharpen them. That's the way they came. Just be careful. All right. Just like that. I know it's gonna hit me. Yeah, it's gonna hit me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it needs more pressure. I can't get myself in this thing. Just slam it over Shannon's helmet. Yeah. Oh god. Here it goes. This was the hardest hundred I have ever done, ever, anywhere. But this was the hardest hundred ever. It kept coming and it didn't stop. It was relentless, but it was really good. And the um, the staff, like the uh, volunteers, like sports staff, were so nice. I love the people I meet. That's why I do these because um, they're they're all nuts. <laughs> so it's relatable. <laughs> And you get beer, so that's pretty cool. Okay, no joke. I didn't get paid to say this. In fact, I paid to say it. <laughs> I paid to do this. <laughs> Much more challenging course now. I think we're on par with like some of the more difficult races. You know, Margie Gessick is super hard. Um, I wasn't trying, I wasn't going for that. I wasn't going for the hardest race, but I think that some people said, hey man, this is more like the Margie Gessick 50. And uh, so that's, that's a compliment. I think he does a really good job up there. It's like having fun, but different. It was a long race. What do you do now? Have a beer and go home and sleep. I, I, this yeah. was the hardest yeah. one so far because it's uh, less road, more trail. And that's what I hope for, but I'm, you don't want to wish for some things. Are you going to come back? I'm 60. This might be my last one. <laughs> and there he is! Okay, how, so how was it? What happened out Ridiculous. there? Ridiculous. I can't believe you people pay money to do this. <laughs> Roots and rocks, crashes and cramps. What? I don't get it. But I can't wait to do it again.
right? I got nothing for you, brother. I'm dead. Sorry. Nerdwire TV, like, subscribe, share.